disturbing the rest of the engine. This is one of the most important features of a radial engine. That big chrome part rotating in the center is a counterweight which keeps everything turning smoothly. We color-coded the inside of our engine to show some of its functional areas. These are labeled in photograph B. The air and gasoline mixture enters the cylinders during the intake stroke through the blue-colored areas. The mixture is next compressed by the piston and ignited by the spark plugs. Combustion takes place in the red colored chamber, heating and expanding the gas mixture and driving the piston toward the center of the engine. This is the power stroke. On the return stroke, the piston forces the exhaust gases out of the cylinder through the orange colored exhaust ports. The green areas show the valve lubrication passages. The basic radial engine design was developed after World War I as a simple, compact, highly reliable, low-maintenance engine. Subsequently, radial engines proved so successful that they were used in many different kinds of aircraft. For instance, during the 1930s, 90% of all American...